You've got questions and we've got answers. Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, answering the questions that new leaders ask us. Actually, it's our goal to help all leaders become more successful, productive, and confident. And in this episode, we're talking about leading your former boss. Are you ready? Let's get started. Sometimes it happens. You've progressed in your career. Perhaps your boss got demoted one way or another, whether it's the next step for you or sometime later. It can be awkward when you're leading your former boss, right? So I have some advice for you today about what to do when that happens. First, you need to have a conversation with them because right now, this is the elephant in the room, right? You got to talk about it. You got to talk about the fact that there's a role reversal. And maybe this has been some time as, that has passed. And maybe you sense there's some anxiety. or maybe, But the thing is, you don't know. You may have the anxiety. They may not. So you need to have a conversation. Bring the topic up. And the two of you can start to have a conversation. And when you do, you will discover their perspective. Is this a big deal for them or not? Do they have a lot of ego involved in this? The longer it's been since you were led by them, the less of an issue this might be. But the reality is it can be awkward. You need to find out what their perspective is. Make sure that you're not just projecting on them as this being a big deal, right? Three, have confidence. You are in the position that you're in based on someone or some group of people believing in you and saying that you're ready to have this leadership role. And whether they thought specifically about the fact that you would now be leading your former boss doesn't really matter. Have confidence that others see that you can be successful in this role. At the same time, I want you to be humble. This is not the time to lord it over that person. Look how I've done compared to you. This is not going to help you in any way. So you can be confident and you can still be humble. And I hope that you'll be both. Next, remain a learner. So there's probably stuff that you learned from that boss that now reports to you. And you can probably still learn stuff from them. If you remain confident and humble, you can remain a learner, including continuing to learn from them. And lastly, leverage the relationship. Chances are you have a relationship. Hopefully it was a good one. And if that's the case, perhaps this new awkward situation won't be quite as bad as you initially thought. You've got to find out where they're at. Don't make assumptions about how difficult this is or will be or how much angst or worry or stress or frustration they have. Maybe they do, but maybe they don't. Either way, you need to find out where they're at by having a conversation, figuring out their perspective, taking care of yourself in terms of your confidence and humility and being a learner, and then leverage the relationship. At least you already know them as a place for you to start. Let me close with today's tweet. Leading your former boss requires conversation, confidence, finesse, and plenty of humility. Well, hey, I hope you liked my answer to this question. It's one we get asked a lot. And for me to continue these videos, I need your questions. So you can put your questions for me, either related to this video or related to anything about being a leader or a new leader by dropping that into the comments below right here on this page or by sending an email to info at bud2boss.com. And speaking of bud2boss.com, lots of resources there, not just video, all sorts of free resources on our blog and other resources to help you as a new leader be more successful. We we'll hope you take advantage of those and hope you'll come back for another answer another session of Q&A with Kevin right here.